Hello, just too good here, and I'm back with another catalog flip through, uh, look through, trip down memory lane, whatever you want to call it. And today we're taking a look at the January 2013 Lego Store catalog, which features Legends of Chima. Uh, you can see the big set they had on the front cover in here is Kyra's Commandship. And you guys know the first Lego Lego Chima I did not like. Like I made a rant video about it and everything, which is embarrassing to look back on. And honestly. I guess I've softened up a little bit to the first wave. Like, for example, Cragger's Commandship, I don't think is a bad set. Um, I think I was probably a little bit too harsh on it back then. It looks all right. And as an $80 set, it's it's okay. Um, I have this set, though. I actually don't have any of, like, the play sets from the first wave, except uh, the, the speeder sets and then, like, these little poly bags. Uh, though, again, there's some really bad parts, like... Uh, Lennox is Lion Attack, Ugh. and it's weird because they had an obsession with putting Lennox in it. I watched the first few episodes of the show, and that guy was barely in it. Uh, Equal is Ultra Striker, which doesn't make sense to me. Why would they make a land vehicle for the Eagles? Wow, like, the Eagle Sky Vehicles look so cool. Um, Laval's Royal Fighter, Ugh. this set was weird because it got recalled or something. Like, it was off the store shelves pretty quickly. And Crawley's Claw Ripper, which honestly, out of this whole page of four sets, uh, I think this one's the best. Um, as a fifteen dollars set, I actually would have got it. Um, I saw this at Toys or, or I saw this at Target a few months back, and I kind of wish I would have got it because it's it's just a weird, uh, cool fifteen dollars set, honestly for for the build. Uh, the crocodile vehicles, I guess, from this first wave were the best. Walks's pack tracker. Okay, yeah, that one looks bad. Rascal's glider. I really had no interest in, even though I usually get small sets. Um, it's just I don't know. There's just no drive for me to get this set. The Eagle's Castle I do have, um, I, I only really like the minifigures. Eris' Eagle Interceptor is, uh, it's, it's okay, I guess. I, I do like a lot of the, the Eagle uh, flying vehicles, and the same could be said about the Raven vehicles. This one's alright, I mean, it's not really one of the best, but uh, it's not that bad. Um, and it's a Target exclusive, too. I remember so many people have this on eBay for super cheap, because it was on sale at Target or, like, Lego Store or something uh, for a very cheap price. The speeder sets, I remember I got this one early before anybody else, and I was that was like one of my most popular videos of all time, and that started my speeders uh, fever, which if you guys remember, I got every single LEGO team of speeders. I don't know why, I just liked kind of displaying them. I got this one, this one they were giving away for free with like orders in mid-2013. Uh, they really want to get rid of that one. Uh, Boulder Bowling, I remember people use the, the ramp in this set, which is like a gray ramp for the hood of the Back to the Future time machine because it was it was like the perfect hood. It was just a little bit bigger than the vehicle. Uh, the Ultimate Speeders Tournament, eh, this set really isn't that good. It was just cool to get uh, Krager and Val because they didn't come in too many sets in the first wave. Now we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This theme I love and I'm kind of sad that it, it died uh, so quickly because there was a lot of stuff they could do. I don't really, I never was never into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I never really watched the show. But the builds here are so cool. For example, Baxter's Robot Rampage is one of my favorite sets. Like, it's probably my top 50 favorite sets. I really love this set. I just don't like the sticker that they have on the front. But other than that, it's a great set. April looks awesome and Baxter look awesome. Like, but those are two great minifigures. And the robot themselves, the robot itself looks so cool. Uh, the Crane Lab Escape is a great non-battle pack, uh, like, small license set. Really cool. I love the Crane exclusive mold. Um, what else we got? The Turtle Lair Attack, I wish I would have got this set, I really do, because it's just such a cool playset. I did get the movie Turtle Lair, so I'm okay there, uh, but I regret not buying that for $50. Great deal as well. Um, what else we got? Uh, the, the Shredder's Dragon Bike and Stealth Shell in Pursuit. Honestly, these two are probably the weakest of the first wave. The builds aren't really that good here, but I do like the minifigures. Like, Shredder looks incredible. Uh, Fish Face is kind of a funny minifigure. I kind of want to... I'm, I'm probably going to take him. I don't know where he's at, but I, I want to use him for something else. He's kind of an interesting looking vehicle when I look back. And the Shell Razor Street Chase is okay. I never really got it, but I like the wheels. This is like my favorite part, the hidden train wheels. That's so cool. And, oh, and the pizza delivery truck, but that's, that's awesome as well. All right, so now we're on to City, and City had new fire and police sets. Uh, the fire helicopter and fire boat. Uh, didn't really care for those. I like this set. I was wishing I would get on sale. It's a pretty cool build for the house on fire. I saw this at Publix the other day, uh, which was weird because it's a discontinued set. <laughs> I never got it, though. I got this one, though, and this one I got... Uh, and then I, I gave it to charity. It was like six bucks or something at Target. Uh, the fire station isn't really memorable. The only cool thing was the Dalmatian, really, or the thing that stood out. 
Uh, High Speed Chase was for the Wii U Lego City game. Uh, Police ATV. I got this set along with that the fire set from the last page. Uh, and I got those like someday at like in November 2012 at the Lego store. It was pretty pretty cool. Helicopter Rest I think was overpriced, but it's so cool to get like an apartment build. Never got it. Uh, flatbread truck and cement mixer, meh. And the museum, overpriced, 70 bucks. Ugh, uh, this is when they started pricing city so darn high. I like the museum build though, and I wish I would have got it. Friends, I love the $10 sets this wave, uh, like the karate class and Mia's magic trick, which I did get. This is weird because it's the only Lego friend set that is mini doll based that doesn't have uh, one of the main girls as a mini doll. I guess there's there's been like a store promotional one, but I mean like a wide release set. Uh, the rehearsal stage, meh. This set is awesome. I love all these $10 sets this way because they had exclusive torso prints and everything and they were kind of like different branches. That's so cool. This Heart Lake City Pool is so cool. I wish I would have got it. Um, great $40 set. This pet salon, very unmemorable. And I have this and I have this, got that for Easter, never got this one. Newborn Fowl, I remember seeing this on eBay for like, it was like 30 bucks in October 2012 and it blew my mind that a 2013 set was up so early. And Summer Riding Camp, uh, never had interest in getting this. I think the, the van is the coolest part. But honestly, this is better than the Riding Camp of this year. Creator, this wave was kind of meh. Um, even the Small Cottage, it's, this is an okay set. I don't know, I don't like the colors on it, but I do own it. Okay, so there's Series 9 of the LEGO minifigures. This series was one of the last ones that I didn't get all the minifigures in there. I don't know what was up, I just, I don't, I... I wish I would have because I love Lego minifigures. That's probably one of my favorite themes of all time. And ever since series 10 and on, I would just get the whole series in like one week. Um, I'm missing the roller derby girl, the plumber, fortune teller, and I think the knight. Those are the four I'm missing. I might be wrong about that though. Uh, so I'll eventually like eBay or something, so don't worry. Uh, Horizon Express, this one is meh. I mean, I, I liked Emerald Knight much better. I think the colors on the Horizon Express are probably the worst part. I do not like the orange colors, honestly. Uh, and it was cheaper. The Emerald Knight was cheaper by like 20 bucks. Um, Soap with Camel, and uh, this is... I, I think I expressed my thoughts on it before. Pretty cool set. It kind of got forgotten, though. I don't hear much people talk about it. Camper is still around to this day. And the Haunted House... Uh, I don't even want to look at that. It makes me so sad that I didn't get it. <laughs> Uh, pet shop, I think I'll get that eventually. I think it's just about to be con discontinued. I'm, and if I miss out on that, I won't really be that mad. Um, as say, like, the Grand Emporium. Uh, mini modulars, they never made a second series of that, except the Toys R Us ones. Uh, the Town Hall, I never liked this one, honestly. Uh, 200 bucks, though, it's, it's really on, um, like, it's, it's a lot of money on the aftermarket because it kind of went quicker than the pet shop went, which was really interesting. Um, it had a, it's one of the shortest lifespan of any of these modulars. Grand Emporium, uh, it's like the haunted house. Wish I would have got it. Regret not getting it. So close to getting it. What else we got? DC Superheroes. Ooh, the 2013 wave. I can't recall when I got this set, but I remember I did get it. I think it was at like Toys R Us in like January 2013. Uh, that one's cool. I, I mean, I like the minifigures. Um, don't really care about the bat boat. The little glacier part's pretty cool. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises. Bane, the mask of the man. I wish I would have got this set. I really do, because The Dark Knight Rises is just a funny movie to me. I, I really wish I would have got this set. It's it's such a bad set in terms of accuracy, too. Um, does not look like it. And it came out, like, more than a year after, or more than, uh, like, half a year after. Uh, Arkham Asylum, if you guys remember, um, I got this set at Toys R Us for 20 bucks. That was a great haul. I got two of them at Toys R Us. Um, still have not built it, because I need space. Takes a while, ETC. Same thing with everything. Uh, the Spider-Man Spider Cycle Chase. This is a pretty um, great set. I, sorry, I got kind of like a brain freeze there. I really like this set. I like This is one of my favorite Spider-Man sets. And Doc Ock's Ambush, really like this set. And uh, the Daily Beagle, really like this set. Like these three, um, the first three Ultimate Spider-Man sets, even though this released like uh, in the summer of last year when this came out, these are some of the strongest Spider-Man sets um, from Ultimate Spider-Man. And they came out so long ago. It's like, I don't get why, like, they made, like, the, that bad helicopter set after they made that. Because that was such a step down from those. Um, Star Slicer. This is weird because it was a Toys R Us exclusive. Kind of came and went. I think the red guy was exclusive, but I might be un, um, I might be wrong about that. Warp Singer, one of the first ones I got. That was what I got with some of those city sets at the Lego store in November 2012. Vermin Vape. I got this um, at... Uh, 
Target for very cheap, $20, $20 Vape Nation. Um, Bug Obliterator, I got this at Target for $20 as well. Um, like, for that price, they're pretty good sets. Um, what else we got? Space Swarmer, I got this the day I got Warp Singer and old other ones at the LEGO store. Swarmer Interceptor, I never was interested in getting. I remember Galaxy Squad, we found out about it very later on. Like, it was kind of like a rumored theme, and then it just kind of came out of nowhere. It showed up at, like, a, a Canadian Toys R Us. There was, like, store settings before there was official pictures. Uh, architecture, you know, I'm not really into architecture, but I respect it. Master Builders Academy. Um, what's next? Ooh, Ninjago. I love uh, this year of Ninjago. If you guys watch a lot of my videos, you know, 2013 is like my favorite year of Ninjago because it's so weird. It it was the year with only six sets, and it was like it was branded as the final battle, like Ninjago was ending. And they're just such a weird mix of six sets. I love it so much. Uh, great set, Golden Dragon. I just wish it didn't have a Molted Head. Uh, but the Molded Head is admittedly really cool in Pro Gold. The Cole's Earth Driller is like a mini Thunder Driller, so I like it. Um, Grumbertron, I never got that set. Eh, I kind of wish I got it. I, I, one day I want to complete this whole wave of Ninjago since it is my favorite. Temple of Light, again, I wish I would have got it. I really liked this set back then. It's just 70 bucks was kind of out of my price range back then. Uh, Kai's Fire Mech is one of the strongest, smallest uh, LEGO Ninjago sets. I'd probably say it's the best uh, $10 LEGO Ninjago set. It's incredible. I mean, it's a great mech. Um, Warrior Bike is okay. Um, my friend had it, and I almost got it from him. I also like how they all had, like, exclusive suits, and each mini or each ninja had their own sets, and then uh, Lloyd had two sets, the Golden Ninja Lloyd, which was really cool. I don't know. I, oh, man, I love the formatting of the 2013 wave. Technic, I'm not into. Uh... Hobbit. I wasn't even expecting this. Uh, the Hobbit sets. I, I forgot about these. Um, yeah, these came out in December or November. I think, no, it was December 1st or November 1st of 2012. Uh, off the first movie, which was, eh, it was an okay movie. Love this set. One of my favorite sets of all time. Uh, this set, I think, is gets so much more flack than it should. I love this set as a play set. Uh, this set is pretty good as a play set, um, or a, not really a play set, but more of a piece set. Um, this set is pretty good as a play set. This set is pretty good as a play set. This set's pretty good. Like, this whole first wave of Hobbit, it was such a weird mix, and they did not sell well, but they were good for pieces, and they were all play sets. So, you know, I love play sets, so I, I kind of liked a lot of these sets looking back. I think as the waves increased, I think they got worse early on. I think the first initial Hobbit wave was the best wave. And it was cool because the first Hobbit wave had all of the doors. Like, they, they all appeared in their own sets, which was so crazy because they all had, like, exclusive moldings and stuff. It was so impressive. Uh, oh, now we're on to Star Wars. I just saw the Clone Wars. Sorry. Don't care about that one. Don't care about that one. Don't care about that one. Uh, oh, gosh. I saw this at, like, Walgreens the other day. Oh, my gosh. That's an awful set. Uh, this set I always wanted. Duh, I wish I would have got that set. I would have rather saw this at Walgreens than this. If I saw this at Walgreens for full price, I would have got it. But I saw this at Walgreens for like 15 bucks. It's overpriced. Uh, that's not even like the real price. Didn't I? Thankfully, like I happily skipped on that. Uh, don't care about the MHC Mobile Heavy Cannon. Battle of Hoth. Uh, yeah, I don't really like this set either. It's like a, a downsized version of the most recent one, which is getting a lot of flack as well. Um, Jabba's Palace, ugh, regret not getting that. Rancor Pit, I do have this set, I got it on sale, 30, no, it was, it might have been one of the early, no, I did get it half off, never mind, I thought I got it for 30, which I never got stuff for 30. Same is with this, actually, in the beginning of this video, and I use this on so many videos, I use a box for this in so many filming, like, uh, as like a stand for filming, I, like, that box is so perfect, because I never opened this set, and I wish I I mean, I don't wish I would, but I know I will one day, but, like, it's just such a iconic box to me. I'm like, I can't open it, because, I don't know, I just, it's my filming box. Uh, Super Star Destroyer, uh, that's a huge set. Uh, same with the Death Star. Uh, the B-Wing, I, I, this is one of the, the last UCS sets to kind of just come and go, like, nobody really talked about it. Uh, R2-D2, I expressed my thoughts on that before, very cool set. And, I think, yep, on the back, it's just Arkham. All right, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me which ones are your favorite themes in here. It was cool seeing the Hobbit sets again and uh, Galaxy Squad and um, even Chima. It was, it was nice to get a second look at Chima. And, of course, Ninjago 2013. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.